Okay guys, so working on Frankenstein today. Uh, I've had this problem with this truck uh, it's pretty much since I got it. It's a brake leak, brake fluid leak. Uh, the guy, uh, actually he said it was a power steering leak, but after running it for a while, it was pretty obvious it wasn't a power, uh, power steering leak, it was a brake line leak because I'm leaking uh, brake fluid. Uh, a little bit of inspection and uh, you can see brake fluid is dripping off the master cylinder. Uh, it's, it's dripping on the hose, the power steering hoses uh, to the hydro boost there. So I think that's why he thought it was a, a power steering line leak, but it's not. A um, few things, I think it is. It looks like it's coming from the master cylinder itself. I'm not sure if it's coming from the O-rings that hold this tank on. Or he's got adapters on this thing because he made his own brake lines. And it seems like maybe that one in the back there looks really wet. So possibly it could be one of those bad or the brake line that he made is bad. I don't know. I gotta look at the lines once I get them off. I've uh, ordered a new master cylinder for this thing, but taking these master cylinders off is, is pretty straightforward, guys. There's a bolt there. There's a bolt on the other side. Uh, obviously, you gotta unhook your two lines. Uh, I unplugged the plug there, the brake light switch. I believe that's the low fluid switch. So, I'm gonna get all them taken off and we're gonna look at it. I'm kinda of interested to see what these lines look like and especially that back one. We'll see what that adapter looks like. It could have a burr on it like I had on the the brake line when I when I did the uh, VS10 there. It could have a burr on it maybe even, but anyway, I'm gonna get this off. We'll we'll take a look and see what we got. Okay, so the master cylinder is out and the fittings all look good, but you can see, you know, this whole master cylinder is wet. So if it was like the fitting down here, you would think it would just be wet, you know, down this area and maybe running down there, but it looks like it's wet up in there and up in there. So I think it's probably O-rings or whatever attaches this tank to the master cylinder body there. I think that is what is the problem because the whole thing looks wet. Okay, so I got my new master cylinder. Uh, this thing needs to be bench bled before you install it. They supply little plugs here to bleed this. Uh, what they're saying is to put this thing in a level position. You're going to take something and you're going to push in on, on the, the master cylinder. It said no more than an inch pushing it in. And then it said uh, wait 20 seconds between uh, pushes to allow the air to come out of the master cylinder. Um, it said you should feel uh, when it gets stiff, then uh, your master cylinder is blood. So I'm gonna continue to do this until I feel some resistance. Okay, so struggling a little bit with this master cylinder. I uh, couldn't get a pedal, couldn't get a pedal, so I had to make my own little bleeder kit for this thing. And I run the lines into the master cylinder like you normally bleed one. I don't know how you can bleed one with the lines just plugged off. Um, 
yeah, I, I don't know. Anyway, made my own bleeder kit. Kind of bench bled it in the truck here. Got my lines hooked back up and now I got a real nice pedal. Firm pedal. So I'm just waiting on Dad to pump the pedal for me so I can bleed the rest of the system and hopefully we'll have a brake system that doesn't leak. So, Okay guys, so I'm going to call that fixed. I don't see anything leaking off the master cylinder. The lines look good. And yeah, it's pretty pretty easy install except for the the bench bleeding didn't go quite as planned. But anyway guys, that's gonna do it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.